morning. Okay, in my final of three videos that I've made this morning, uh, we're going to do some core work because we need to work off that stuffing and mashed potatoes and uh, what else? Chocolate. Lots of chocolate. Chocolate cake and icing on the cakes there. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. Um, if you're not warmed up, go ahead and do the stretching, morning stretch video first. And we're going to go right into the core. So on to our backs, and the core is everything but the limbs, when you think about it. Some people think that the core is just the tummy, but it's actually the chest muscles, it's the back, it's everything but the limbs. If you cut everything off, that would be your entire core. Okay, here we go. On to our backs, knees in, rocking side to side. I'm going to start with the shoulders up off the mat, and do some Pilates. Core work. So here we are stretching out one leg at a time. One and two. If you need to support your head, put one hand behind. Looking up, do not let the chin go to the chest. Looking up, breathe and breathe. Otherwise, head back. Five. Keeping that lower back pressed into the mat. And that's what happens when you lift the shoulders up. If my shoulders were down, I could get some arch in there. I don't want that. I want to keep them up. And four more. One, two, three, and four. Okay, good. Go ahead, bring it back down. And I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. So now I feel like I moved. Ha, there we go. Okay. So here we are, uh, back onto our back. Hands behind the head, shoulders up off the mat, feet just as your table top position. Head again being supported, looking straight up, not crunching down, and taking a twist. Hold, count one, two. Other way, one, two. The slower you go, the harder it is. One, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, four more, three, and two, three, four, good, bring it down, rocking side to side a little bit, okay, we're going to do that same exercise with the single leg stretch, except we're going to come on to the elbows. I like to put my hand right here, if you don't mind, all the back, making sure that I'm not crunching down. My chest is lifted, tummy is pulled in, and extend one leg at a time. Keep going. Adjust my self a little. Here we go. Just a whole leg. And three. Three. Pull that belly button into the spine. One more. One, two, three, and four. All right, standing here, bringing it up into our boat position. Hold, let go. Breathe, deep breath in, and exhale. Try to keep the chest up. Don't collapse down. Stay up if you need to grab. Underneath the legs, grab underneath the legs, but don't let yourself collapse. Okay, here we go. Hold, deep breath in, and exhale. From here, extend out, and bring it back in. And two. We're just going to go for eight. Three. Really pulling that tummy in. Back is strong. Four. Five. Seven and eight. All right. Good job. Bring it down. Hands behind the head, shoulders up off the mat. We're going to lift those hips up, come back down, tap the toes down. If you can't lift the hips up off the mat, that's okay. Bring it here and 
you're tapping, as you tap, as I'm coming down, I'm pulling that belly button into the spine. I need to make sure that that lower back stays pressed into the mat. Do not do this like this because you will arch watch. You will just open up and open that rib cage and arch that back. Cannot do it that way. You have to get those shoulders up off the mat. Here we are. Up and down. Looking up. Don't arch the chin to the chest. Support that head. And up. Forget to breathe. All right, four more. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. All right, nice job. Let's take it side to side and rest. Okay. How are you doing? Nice. Oh, that was good. Okay, we're going to put the feet down. Hands behind the head. From here, we're going to just lift up and pull. Feeling here, don't crunch the head down. Don't curve the back. Just hold in this position. Pull. Breathe from here. Reach and down. Reach and down. All these exercises that we're doing right now on our back like this, you can do them lying in bed. So if you're not able to get down onto the floor, and I know a lot of you aren't, but that's okay. You can do this while you're in bed. Provided, of course, you have a firmer mattress and not a soft, mushy one. You'll be getting some same benefits. And there you go. It's just like laying on that massage table that we work on. Here we go. And last one. Up. Good job. Okay. So now again, those last few exercises. And you can also taste, take the basic crunch. The problem with the basic crunch is a lot of people tend to do this. Look at what I just did. Look at my head. And look at me go back down. I did not use my stomach one bit there. I just crunched my chin to my chest, lifted my shoulders a little bit, and came back down. And a lot of people do that, and then they tend to hurt their neck. When you're doing a crunch, you want to come out. My back's basically flat. I'm not curving. I'm just coming up to that up position and down. And my head's looking straight up. Uh, not curving, but straight up like this and down. And down. So if you're not on the floor, you can do it this way. All right. Otherwise, here we go. We're going to start. Legs are straight. Take a big stretch. We're going to come up, bring one knee and down. Okay. I'm going to show you the modification. So if you can't do this, don't try. I don't want you oh, straining and doing this. If you can't do it, don't do it. Alternating. Okay. If you can't do this and it's too difficult, but the best thing to do is sit up tall and you're just going to tap your foot to your hand. You don't want to be crunched like this. Up, pull that tummy in strong, tap and tap and tap. Keep going with that if that's what you need to do. Otherwise, you are down and coming up and tap and down. All the way up. Exhaling as you come up. You're doing great. Up. Exhale. Breathe. And up. Two more. Let's do it. Up. Last one. And then up. Okay. Good work on that. That's a difficult one, I know. Okay, and again, if you were modifying, we were just here, but I know that you felt that. All right. Let's 
stand head and shoulder presses. We're really going along. We're going to go into plank from this position. The most important thing in plank is that you find that you're not swooping your back. You want to feel like somebody's punched you in the tummy. You want to have the tush up a little bit. Ways to modify the plank are more in a downward dog, although I prefer that you just come here to your hands and knees, that you need to drop the hip. If you're up like this, it's not really a plank. Let your knees roll, let yourself drop right here. Pull that tummy in, strong hands underneath the shoulders, and that's your modification. You don't want to be like this. It's an arch, and you don't want to do that. You want to be here. Otherwise, you'll go into a regular plank. But let's start with stretch here. Tummy, we are going to go into this plank. Modify, or you're going to curl those toes and come right up into the plank and hold. Take a breath in. You want the shoulders over the hands. Again, the tummy pulled in. You don't want your back like this. You need to be up. Okay. Hold. Take a breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. From here, drop one knee. One, two, Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten, come back to the plank, hold, up, stretch, bring it back down, tap both knees, and up, bring it up to the stretch, and we're down the dog, come back here, tap both knees, and back up. If you're in a modified, you can't really do that, so you're just going to come back. And practice getting into that plank. Come here, hold, and you're in that plank, dropping those hips and back. Come here, otherwise you're here, and then you tap both knees, and then you come back and back down, tap both knees, and back up. Two more, down, tap, up, you got it, down. Stretch and down. Nice job. And down. All right, coming on to the forearms. Into the full plank or modified for the shoulder tap. So I'll show you how to modify first. And here, I have to drop those hips. I don't want to be up like this. And here, hips are dropped. And I'm just going to tap. Shoulder tap. And tap. And tap. Okay, keep going with that. If you're in full plank, you're here. And then you're going to tap and tap. It's a little harder to tap. Make sure the hips are up a little bit. You don't want to be in that arched position. Tapping. Four more. One. Two. You got it. Three. And four. Down, rest. So take your time. Okay, breathe in. Okay, let's bring it over to the side. Here, we're going to work those obliques. And this isn't a very long video, so don't worry. We're not going to go for 30, 40 minutes. It'll be short and sweet, just so we get a little bit of that core work in after all the other stuff that we've done with the stretching of the whole leg. Here. On your side. Side planks are not my favorite. I feel like they put a lot of pressure on the shoulder. So you can modify. The easiest is to stay right here. <laughs> so I'm not, it's not an arm exercise. Look at my arm moving and my body's doing absolutely nothing. That's not what I want. I want you to twist. See how I twisted my body? And as I twist my body and I open up, my arm moves with my body. I'm not doing this at all, okay? So this is the easiest. A little bit harder is up like this. And again, not this. I'm twisting, opening. Or you can go into a full side plank. So wherever you are, you should be moving right now. 
If you're in your full side plank again, twist and open. And keep moving. I'm going to come back down here, stay with my modifiers because for me, I feel like I'm getting a lot here and I'm old. <laughs> I don't need to show off. I don't need to get into that side plank. Although I have a lot of clients who are much older than me who can do it, it also puts a lot of pressure on my shoulder. And I really want to focus on working my obliques. That's what I'm doing. I'm not working the shoulder. I'm working the oblique muscles. And I'm twisting and opening two more. Here we go. One. And two. All right. Good job. Switch it over to the other side. So again, if you start in that full side plank, this side's a little bit easier for me for full side. Here, through and open. Through and open. If you're modifying, keep moving your here up and open. Body's moving, not the arm. It's the body. It's the body. And it opens or you're down. And you're here and opening. All right. Two more. One. And two. Okay, from here, we're going to do a little bit more oblique work. So I'm going to sit up, sitting up tall. I don't have my weights with me, I have my neck blockers, but not. Any of the weights today. I'm going to sit up tall and show you from the side. I don't want you crunched back like this. I want you up tall. And clasp your hands if you don't have a weight. I'm just twisting. And twist. And twist. And twist. Good. Working that upper trunk. A lot of people have a problem with moving this upper body without trying to do this with the arms. This is, again, it's not an arm exercise. I'm not doing this with the arms. They're like, oh, my shoulders hurt because you're working your arms. I'm keeping my hands here and I'm twisting my body. And as I twist my body, my head and my arms go with it. Keep your elbows by your side. Twist, twist, you got it. We're rocking it. This is the Russian twist. Going side to side, we call it the Russian twist. The Sicilian twist is when you go one, two, ah, one, I made this up. Sicilian. Hey, what's the matter you? Hey. <laughs> there you go. I'm Sicilian. My own twist. And two. Adding that one, two. That just gives a extra push to those obliques. One, two. One, two. One, one, two. Nice work on that. Let's go ahead and take it down. Onto our backs. Again, the trunk, the core, everything here. Nice. We're going to take those legs up. I'm going to lower one at a time. Down. I've got to keep that lower back pressed into the mat. I don't have my shoulders up off the mat, so this is a difficult exercise because your lower back is going to want to go like this and your ribs are going to want to open it, and I don't want you to do that. So I want you to. Pull it down and then back up. Alternate legs, top of spider, down and up. Good. Down and up. Breathe. Down and up. Gosh, you're doing great. Pull that lower back. That pull that belly button just fine. Using those inner obliques to lower that belly button. Up. Up. Four more. Let's do it. We're almost done. We're gonna roll it over and super girl, super guy it out. And twist. Let's go on to our stomach. Ready for a blueberry smoothie this morning. Ah, there we are. And we're going to take it up. Going here, going side by side. Lifting my legs, squeezing my 
my tush. And down. Up. And down. Three. Up. Try two more. Open it up. Up. Last one. Yeah. Up. Hold it here. Breathe. Look in. Exhale. And release. Come back. Breathe in. Take a stretch back. Okay, you guys, that's it. If you want to do more, do this video twice. <laughs> Other than that, have a great day, a good rest of the 2021, and I will see you in 2022. And you might see me from Florida doing a few exercise videos if I can get up the energy. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.